basically you have uh, a third of the population that has uh, disconnected from the regular wired uh, telephone and um, 500 people actually 500,000 people around the country are joining them each month so basically this is a, a growing trend as you know so uh, as I look around the room let me ask this question how many of you have wireless only for your phone call? okay so it's, you see about half of you so that's basically what is happening uh, now how many of you own two wireless devices okay so today uh, there is uh, more than 300 million wireless subscribers uh, in the US so of course that doesn't mean that every baby out there has a phone and every person in the country has a phone but many of us have two devices and now of course we're connecting cars uh, we're connecting homes so uh, that's what basically is requiring that AT&T make some big investments on our uh, wireless uh, broadband deployment so that we can keep up with the uh, growth of data. Um, so we're living in an increasingly mobile world and um, basically we need to uh, develop a network that is going to support uh, this growth. Now, people are adopting new technologies faster than ever before. Uh, when you look at the first five years of the iPhone and Android devices, those were adopted twice as fast as Facebook, three times faster than the internet, and 10 times faster than PC. So basically the adoption is, is pretty quick. Um, now, another thing that is important is that uh, nearly 70% of the uh, connections, in other words, the, the calls that happen in North Carolina alone are wireless. 70% and also the same percentage, 70% of the calls to 911 are made from wireless phones. So basically wireless devices. So um, that shows you that uh, we're turning into a wireless uh, type, wireless only type of uh, environment. Um, at at and we experienced a 50,000% increase in mobile data traffic in the past six years. So uh, just imagine if you were in the uh, uh, DOT and you had uh, the tra highway transportation and you had to basically develop your highway to support a growth of 50,000%. Uh, I mean, how you would have to be adding line, lanes and more lanes into these highways at a pretty rapid pace. That's what we're doing actually with our broadband wireless deployment. Um, Mobile connected tablets will generate more traffic in 2017 than the entire global mobile network in 2012. So those are kind of big things that are sort of going. Um, now, as far as businesses is concerned, uh, they have also picked up on this trend in mobile technology, as you know. So um, earlier this month, AT&T had a, a survey of small businesses and uh, some of, of, of the data that came out from this survey is that 94% uh, of the small businesses use the smartphones to conduct business. Uh, more than half of the small businesses are now using mobile apps in their business as well. And um, some of these uh, choices made by businesses and consumers are really finding the marketplace uh, as far as the growth of applications as well. Of course, uh, Skype, for example, we are all very familiar with that. Um, reach 500 million registered users <coughs> already and 70 million simultaneous users. Uh, that was kind of a record for the sky uh, last year. So uh, that's part of what is going on uh, in the businesses as well. And uh, it is uh, in the application and development and some of these uh, panelists are gonna talk to you about that. Uh, it is a $10 billion industry today and supports uh, 519,000 developers jobs around the country so that is also 